Hey everybody, CJ here with Prodigy Creations in my newly treated recording booth, which is just in reality my closet, nothing special. Um, but these have helped so much uh, absorb a lot of the sound that would otherwise, um, for instance, reflect off of this wall and back into the mic. So there's still a little bit of, you know, bare spots that I left that I can always treat later. But for now, this is a good starting point. Uh, like I said, it's already helped improve the sound so much in here. And if you are interested in installing acoustic treatment in your recording space, stick around and watch this video because from the day I unboxed these to the day I finished it, uh, I recorded the whole process and I walk you through and talk about the method that I used and even different methods that you use. I referenced an online article to do all of this. So yeah. If you're interested in installing acoustic treatment for your recording space and you need to know how, stick around. Woo! My box came in from Amazon. I got a 24 pack of acoustic foam panels that I'm going to install in my vocal recording booth, which between you and me is just my bedroom closet. Don't tell anybody. Um, so there's a lot of bare wall in that for sure. And uh, you know, even with that though, your, your closet is a really good starting point if you're looking to record vocals because there's already a bunch of clothes hanging up that are helping to absorb that sound, much like these acoustic foam panels do. Um, so it's a good starting point, but there's still a lot of bare wall that I've got to treat. So that's what these babies are for. Uh, we'll do a before and after comparison. I'll do like a, a clap of before these were installed and after and that way you'll get a good audible example of what these babies are doing and how it's gonna give me better recordings. Uh, if you want these specific foam panels that I got, I'll make sure to link it down in the video description where you can get these, but let's unbox these. Here we go, let's unbox these, shall we? Very, very tightly packed. That's good. Uh, makes me nervous to open it up though, so. <laughs> but here we go. Okay. Boom. There's one panel. These are, uh, 12 by 12s, and I think it's uh, two inches in thickness, whatever the word is for that. <laughs> you know, to be honest, they're a little bit thinner than I expected, but they do seem very firm. They do seem like they're made of pretty good material. You know, lightly, lightly tugging on it. Doesn't seem like it would tear apart easily. It seems good. We'll have to test them out as far as sound goes, but as far as material, they seem pretty legit. All right, audio fam, we are uh, right behind my closet, which is my vocal recording booth. It's just a regular, regular old walk-in closet, nothing fancy. Um, that is until we install these babies. And I want to point out, uh, I said these were um, thinner than I was expecting when I was doing the unboxing. Uh, totally wrong about that, as you can see. Um, and now that I think about it, they just needed time to expand outside of the packaging that they were in. So I'll own up to that. That was my mistake. They are totally nice and thick. These are the two inch acoustic foam panels. Again, I'll link down to it in the video description if you're interested in getting it. So I've been doing a lot of studying on how to properly install acoustic treatment. And uh, really there's more than one method for sure. There's a lot of different ways to do it. And in fact, I found a very helpful article online that I will also make sure to link down there in the video description if you're interested. Uh, just talking about the different options you have as far as how you can mount them on your, on your wall. Uh, you can use spray adhesive if you're comfortable with that. Um, you can even nail it. I've seen some people do that. The method I chose to go with though for me is the Gorilla Tape. It's double-sided mounting tape 
Uh, I'll put an image up here or something so you can see what it looks like in case you're interested in getting it. Um, it just seems like the safest option for me personally. You know, a uh, spray I would like to do, but uh, not a homeowner, so <laughs> don't really want to risk messing up the walls, you know. So I feel more comfortable using the double sided tape, and it should work pretty well. All right, so we're gonna wipe down the area with this alcohol right here. I've got a little bit of it soaked on this paper towel. I'm just gonna wipe down the area that I'm gonna apply the acoustic treatment on, and it should help it really uh, keep, its, keep its hold. About to install the first panel. Um, got the area wiped down with the rubbing alcohol. And if you're doing this too, uh, before you start, you definitely want to get your area measured out and kind of mark where you're gonna have the best. Uh, you know, you want to measure out how much tiles or uh, panels, I should say, how much panels you're gonna have on the wall uh, to cover it and all that sort of thing. Uh, I just used, you know this for reference I used the tape measure and then when I found a good balance uh, I marked right here I don't know if you can see it hopefully you can on camera I tried to make it pretty thick but I just got uh, I basically whenever I had the thing lined up I just uh, did that and then marked where the first one should go on by the corner of it made like a little backward though so that's where I'm gonna mount it and uh, how I'm doing it again is with the double-sided gorilla tape and uh, the article that I mentioned that I'm referencing to do all this um, they actually said here I'll show you what I got they actually actually suggested this kind of design um, for a two inch thick foam which is what I have here so I'm gonna try out the the three just because I, I do only have one roll of tape and I probably should have gotten another. Not really sure if I'm gonna be able to get all of this in one day, but hopefully. So we'll see how this holds up with the three strips of tape. If it doesn't work, obviously I can always do four for each, or one on each corner, four total. So let's go ahead and apply it and see how it goes, huh? I think we got the first one installed. Ah, I should have tilted this up, my bad. But, got the first one installed. I think it should be pretty sturdy. And then, let me go grab another panel real quick. The next thing I'm gonna do, uh, I'm probably gonna stop for right now because uh, I'll be honest, Breaking Bad, or not Breaking Bad, <laughs> sorry, Better Call Saul, season six, episode nine airs tonight and your boy's gonna go watch it, for sure. Big fan. What a sick joke! But, uh, anyway, so I'm gonna let it sit. I'm also, you know, gonna test out, see how the three strip method works. Um, so far, I mean, it hasn't, you know, I tug on it lightly and it seemed fine. It's holding well, so I have hope, but we'll see how it goes. I'll probably leave it a couple hours, at least, at least until the show's over. Maybe I'll get back to it tomorrow. I don't know, but nonetheless, um, got this one facing uh, vertically. So the next one I'm gonna do horizontally like that. And it's just gonna repeat that pattern. Um, I personally, I like the look of that. I don't know if it has any acoustic benefits. It might, I, I don't know. I, I tried to look it up and find out. I didn't really find the science behind that. If you, ha if you know something about that, definitely leave it down in the comments. Let us all know. Uh, but I just like that look. I think that's a really cool look. So once I continue, I'm going to do that. And yeah, just keep that pattern going all throughout until we get a nice and fully treated room. That's going to sound so much better. Hey everyone, uh, back here the next day, uh, 24 hours later, more or less. 
still holding steady. So it looks like the three strip method is going to work for me. Uh, yeah, it's just been sitting here for the past 24 hours. Lightly tug on it. It's nice and sturdy, not going anywhere. So I'm gonna keep this going. Might even film a time lapse for this and uh, hopefully by the end of this we'll have it fully treated. If not, I'll come back the next day. <laughs> I wish it need not have happened in my time, said Frodo. So do I, said Gandalf, and so do all who live to see such times. But that is not for them to decide. All we have to decide is what to do with the time that is given us. I wish it need not have happened in my time, said Frodo. So do I, said Gandalf. And so do all who live to see such times. But that is not for them to decide. All we have to decide is what to do with the time that is given us. That's it for today, friends. Thank you so much for watching this. A couple things I wanted to mention before you left. I do have t-shirts available. I'd rather be mixing. This design is available on my shop and I will link down below in the video description. If you're interested in getting it, it would support me and I'd really appreciate it. Uh, another thing, if you are absolutely brand new to the channel and you're looking for more of a basic guide to how to get started in recording music, I've actually got that for you. If you visit my website, prodigycreationsnow.com, you will see a place to get the free guide. And once you click on that, it'll lead you to a landing page. All you'll have to do is enter in your email address. And within minutes, you'll be sent my free PDF guide called The Simple Guide to Recording Music Now in Five Steps or Less. So, uh, but with all that, guys, that's all I've got to say. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. Uh, leave a comment if you enjoyed it. Give me a like, share it, sub, whatever you feel like doing. I'd appreciate it. Yeah. Have a good day.